What's up, sports fans? I'm Roy Wood Jr. He's Michael Costa. Sports is back. We're both vaccinated. Why are we back? Because I locked myself in my kid's bedroom, Roy. Actually, I did it in March of last year. It wasn't a big deal until right now. Okay, but how are you eating? I, I mean, whatever the delivery guy can slide under my door. Quesadillas, a, a cookie, you know, sometimes a milkshake, but it's not pretty. Anyways, let's get into it. The big story right now, Costa, Shakari Richardson, who at her Olympic trials became America's fastest woman, and she did it in style, bro. Orange hair, big eyelashes, the nails, the earrings, the tattoos. She might be the first person to win a gold medal, and the gold medal is her third coolest accessory. What did you think about her orange hair? You, you told me to never talk about a black woman's hair, Roy. Right answer. That's my dog. Okay, but let's move on to some major news coming out of the NFL. Emphasis on the coming out. We're starting with some game changers yeah. in the world of sports. The NFL season, of course, still months away, but Monday was a historic one for the league. That's because Las Vegas Raiders player Carl Nassib became the first openly gay NFL player ever. He made his very personal announcement in a video posted on Instagram. What's up, people? I'm Carl Nassib. I'm at my house here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. Um, I really have the best life. I got the best family, friends, and job a guy could ask for. Um, I'm a pretty private person, so I hope you guys know that I'm really not doing this for attention. Um, I just think that representation and visibility are so important. Um, I actually hope that like one day, Videos like this and the whole coming out process are just not necessary. Yes, good for Carl Nassim, the first openly gay player on the NFL roster. Costa, this shows you how inclusive the league is becoming. Now people of all sexual orientations have an opportunity to get a concussion. It, it, well, yeah, and you know who this is terrible news for, Roy? Any homophobic NFL fans. You know, they're going to be up in the stands shouting, you play like you're gay, and then he'll shout back like, thanks. You know, it's a very confusing time for them. This is really brave of Nassib Costa because it's really hard to be that first openly gay player. The only thing harder is to be the second openly gay player because you know what they're going to do immediately when they find out. They're going to try to hook you up with their friend. Oh, you're gay? Have you met my friend Carl? That's a tough spot to be in. Good point, Roy. Finally, let's move on to college sports. It's the only way that you can lose 15 grand betting on a communications major. And earlier this week, a bunch of college athletes got a huge victory on the court, the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ruled that the NCAA may not place limits on education-related benefits that student athletes can receive. The sweeping decision also swings the door wide open for sharing some of the billions the NCAA generates in revenues with players. The TV channel making money, the coaches making money, the refs making money, everybody making money besides the players. This is the right call, Costa, because see now student athletes and rich kids pretending to be student athletes can get paid. It helps the families, it helps the players, it even helps the nerds who do their homework because you know they weren't getting that fair rate before. I gotta disagree, Roy. This is a bad move. Now, I admit it's wrong not to pay the athletes. That's why I think they should expand it and pay no one. Not the students, not the athletic director, not even the coaches. Just give them all basic scholarships. Then you'd have an angry 68-year-old man with a headset in your Jane Austen seminar. There's a lot he could learn from Elizabeth Bennett and her sisters, Roy. I didn't know you read Jane Austen books. I'm trapped in my kid's bedroom, and there's not a whole lot else I can do. Speaking of which, I gotta go, my pancakes just slid under the door, and I gotta eat them before the five second rule, so. Uh, okay, well I guess that's, that's all the time we have. Yeah. We'll catch you next time. Dude, do you want me to see you a locksmith oh, or something? No, I'm good, man. This is the only room I'll ever feel safe in again. You watching a lot of movies with that VCR behind you? Huh? I'm at my mom's. I get it.